hello guys welcome back to my channel today we are going to guys how I prep my nails how I file it and if I've got any lifting which I do which was not the product's fault it was mine so let's get started first off I'm going to push back my cuticles and I got this cuticle pusher from Born Pretty and I got that off a of wish, born pretty off wish. So I'm gonna go ahead and start pushing back my cuticles. And you wanna do it very gentle, don't dig your nails. But anyways, we're gonna push this back. Push back my cuticle. Use my new bit that I've got. So you wanna put your tip in there and then lock it. And I'm gonna try and get all this dead stuff off around my cuticles. And I got this drill from Wish. Kind of, it's a drill, uh, the the drill and a lamp all in one, and a dust collector. Get all this dead stuff off. This time I figured I'd show you guys how I prep my nails for application. I'm gonna change this bit and dust these off and I'll be right back. Get some of this off of here and try to get some of my lifting taken care of. And for lifting, you just wanna go like right behind where your lifting is and then it should just kind of pluck itself right off. Like it did just there. Hopefully I can show you with this stone on how you can see the lifting, which is white right here at this end by my cuticle. And that's what I want to get that lifting off because if I don't, then you can get an air pocket in there or bacteria can get in there and start growing and you don't want that. Okay, I got these all cleaned off. And the first thing I'm going to do is go in with my ASP Prep and Clean Dehydrant and go around where my cuticles are. All where my natural nail is. Where I had lifting and stuff and where it grew out, so I'm gonna put that all around there. So yeah, get that all done. Put one coat of that. And then I have some Born Pretty Bond and Primer that I'm gonna use. Now I got this from Wish the AS ASP Prep and Clean. I got that from Sally Beauty. Put some of this on, and I'm going to put two coats of this prep and primer on, or prep um, bond and primer. 
um, Born Pretty on my nails, on the natural nail. You don't have to go all the way up onto where I have the um, poly gel. And we're going to do like a little experiment too to see if I'm going to use some Yo Yogi Cover Pink Poly Gel to fill these in and see how that works. If it'll, if the two will work together, Yo Yogi and the Ro Roseland Poly Gel. Because I just want to fill it in and see. If if that, what that does. Because I want this Rosalind to grow out a little bit more before I decide to take it all off. I've got some isopropyl alcohol. This. Okay, so I'm op this first time I'm opening this up the cover pink that I got from Yayogi. So we're gonna see what color it is, see if it kind of matches, so, sort of, kind of. And you only need a little bit, because like I said, I'm only going to go around the cuticles and the, the side walls where I had lifting and it grew out. So we're gonna see how this plays out with that, with the Yayogi. I should have dipped that in. My slip solution before I pick that bead up. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start pushing this down into where my cuticle is. Pat that in to your cuticle. Make sure it's not touching the cuticle because you will get lifting. And when your brush starts sticking, to your poly gel is when you want to stick it in the isopropyl alcohol or slip solution, whichever one you have. Pat that in and pull it down where you need it. Pat and pull, we're almost where I want it. And then, like I said, these are my natural nails with just a cover over it. Okay, I'm gonna flash cure that real fast. Once I have it where I need it to be, and that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna flash cure that real fast. Okay, so I got that flash cure because I don't want it to go somewhere because I'm clumsy today. Well, almost every day, so. We're gonna do the same with the ring finger. Just gonna squeeze a little bit out, just a small bead. And place that down. Pat, pat it down to where you want to, in your, by your cuticle, and on your side walls, like I said. And just pat that down to where it needs to be. Pat and pull. And most poly gels, if your body starts heating up, they will start moving. So sometimes you got to be a little bit fast if your room or your body temperature starts heating up. Okay, so I got that one done. I'm going to flash cure that real fast. Okay, everyone, I guess I got back. I went ahead and done these other three because I did these two on camera so I could save some time. And I'm going to hand file around these and shape them and buff them for you and these are files and buffers that I got from wish which is very good it's a 100 180 grit I love them and this I got from wish also it's a buffer and I love it too so let me get this stuff out of my way I wanted to show you guys how I um, did all my cleaning, my prep. So now I'm gonna go in with some isopropyl alcohol, clean off the sticky layer. With the no, 
lint, well it's a lint free wipe that I got from Wish. A lot of my stuff I've gotten from Wish. <laughs> so anyways, I'm gonna file a couple of these or shape a couple of these on camera and show you how I do my filing and shaping. But you don't have to do much because with poly gel, if you do what you need to do with your poly gel when you're applying it, you don't have to, uh, excuse me, you don't have to file a lot. So I'm gonna just file around my cuticles and get that straightened up. do this ring finger and then I'm going to do the rest off camera. I want to make sure you guys can see that in frame. So just get around your cuticle, get those level. Don't want to go too deep because you will file this off really easy guys. Let's get this one done so we can get it cleaned up and get all the rest of it done. Poly gels and uh, builder gels or, or tar gels, they're not hard to file at all. Nope, looks pretty good. And there's my side view. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of these filed and shaped, and I'm going to buff these, and I'll be right back. Okay, I got those all filed, buffed, and shaped the way that I want them. So now I'm just going to clean them off with some isopropyl alcohol. Anyways, I'm going to get these all cleaned off, and then I'm going to give them a top coat. So anyways, let's put a top coat on these and call it a day. <laughs> so here we go. The top coat I'm going to be used is from Savvy Land Soap Off Gel Polish and it is a non-white top coat. Just loving this cover pink, guys. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. That's the first time I've used a cover pink from by, from your yogi. I'm loving this cover pink. Crap. Of course, I would get it on the skin. Get my cleanup brush and get that off my skin. Or I pop it in the lamp. Okay, I'm gonna flash cure these four because, as you know, when you're doing your thumb, it's hard when you gotta lay it this way, and then all your stuff runs to the other side, or you or you gotta get something to do this. So it's better just to flash cure the four, then do your thumb by itself. Now let me go ahead and top coat this thumb. Okay, I'm gonna do this thumb and give these all a few full cure and I'll be right back guys with the end result. Okay guys, here's my end result. And there's my side view. Now my nails do have a natural C curve. That's it. I wanna thank everyone for coming to my channel and watching my channel. And um, for all of my subscribers, I greatly appreciate you. And if you're new here, please like and subscribe. And uh, that's it. Bye-bye.